Hello Leo, this is going to be your reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in connection with or seeking a connection with a Taurus. This is intended to be timeless, so know that whenever you find yourself here, that's when you are meant to hear this message. All messages will be general, so please take what does resonate, leave what doesn't, check your other planetary placements, and if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below this video. Without any further ado, I wanna thank everyone for tuning back in. Your love and your support has been overwhelming, so thank you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you here. All right, Leo, we are gonna start off with some cards that I intuitively draw, and then we will take a look at the tarot to take a close look at your energies and the situation at hand. All right, so the first card coming through from the Romance Angels is Release Your Ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this may be, you could be in a certain situation. Um, it's time to release that partner so you can move forward into a new, new partnership, possibly with a Taurus. Um, this could also indicate it's time to release the leftover energies from a past situation that turned negative it's still kind of lingering there all right for your Taurus partner they are get, getting calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together nice so they're calling you in Leo how does my Leo feel about this Taurus and their heart space we have beauty charming grace Lecturous, so they think you think they're beautiful, very nice, and unconditional, innocent, support, whole heart. They've got you hooked already, Leo. I love it. And how are they feeling about my Leo in their heart space? Pretend, mass, exaggeration, bluff, and chemistry, spark, passion, desire. I feel like this Taurus is trying to play it cool. Like they are burning with power, passion and desire for you, but they are trying to play it cool. So they may be wearing a bit of a mask so that you can't quite see right through their exterior at this time. All right, so let's take a look at guidance coming in from the universe and from spirit for you. From the Sacred Oracle Destiny deck, we are getting trust. <laughs> All right, and it comes with this little message here. This is a powerful and important card to receive. Even when things seem parched or not fruitful, a deeper energy speaks of the power of your inner knowing. Meditate. Trust those nudges from the universe. Your celestial advisors are close now. You are now open to receive some of the most important messages of your life through your intuition. Your intuition is spot on, so trust it. And even if there are some areas of your life that seem lackluster, know that other areas are being fertilized for a resplendent future. Have faith and know that there is a higher purpose. Trust your intuition. Trust the universe. They're pulling you towards something wonderful. All right. From the Oracles of the Fairy, you had two come through. We have wisdom. Have you ever been told you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Yes, intuition, use your wisdom. I'm loving this message for you, Leo. An inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Play keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun but stay safe. This is telling me that you need to relax and enjoy the moment, Leo, and capture that spirit that is all yours. And from the moonology, you're getting step out of your comfort zone. North node. Yeah. Um, time to leave the past behind you and step into your future. Step out of where you're comfortable and where you've been at and move to something that's going to scare the daylights out of you because Change is never comfortable, right? In order to move forward, to expand, to grow, to experience, we have to step out from that comfort zone. All right. Overall energy of this reading, we have the High Priestess. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and med meditation that provides valuable information. 
be at peace. Look at that. Beautiful. And the hidden energy here is the Knight of Raphael, the Knight of Cups in traditional tarot, a romantic, dramatic poet, poetic, introspective, committed relationships, being swept off your sweet feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at the tarot and see what's going on. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Leo, Ten Moon, Rising Venus in partnership or seeking partnership with a Taurus. Please bring forth the best, most important, most important messages that my Leos most need to hear at this time. Thank you, Spirit Team, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus in partnership or seeking partnership with a Taurus. All right, so at the heart of the matter, we have the Seven of Cups. So there's confusion, there's emotional overwhelm, there may be many options on the table. What is crossing it is making a decision about love. The lovers coming out, Gemini energy. And the distant past, you have the Four of Pentacles. So holding on very tightly to something that's no longer serving you. This is fear-based energy, fear of being hurt. Fear of losing something valuable to you. In the recent past, you have the Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck, unable to escape a situation, a way of thinking, acting, or being. But perfectly capable of stepping out, taking that blindfold off, if you so do choose. What you're wanting? Um, the Seven of Swords. Okay. We'll get clarification on that. Seven of Swords it was about self-deception. Looking back at the past, being shame, feeling shameful about our actions. This is lies, manipulations, deception, deceit, trickery, thievery, things of that nature. All right, future energy coming in. The Two of Pentacles trying to balance things out. <clears throat> how you're seeing yourself, how others are seeing you is the Five of Pentacles. Some loss here, feeling loss. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. There we go. Outside influences, the Ten of Cups. So this could be very well be family. All right, hopes and fears. Fears is a tower coming in, shaking things up, shaking things loose, destruction of something that you thought was solid and long, long withstanding. Future energy coming in is the hanged man, not taking any action, but getting clarity on what would be your best next move forward the bottom of the deck the high priestess something that you do not know secrets things that have not been revealed yet all right an era mystery all right spirit team let's get some clarification the cards on the table please for leo sun moon rising venus in connection with or seeking a connection with a taurus please all right let's start with the seven of swords please what is the Seven of Swords crowning this reading? I'm getting the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with that. Um, that's me talking about the Seven of Swords. It's just about following your intuition about something that feels something deceptive, something that you're not quite trusting. Yeah, what's been a center of conflict for you? Source of anxiety and stress. Um, that's completing. You want to complete that cycle. You're tired of dealing with it. You want to move past it. You want to move on from it. What is this Eight of Swords energy, please? Recent past. Okay, those ones come too. Uh, Page of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Sun, Leo. Yeah, you're trying, you wanted to persevere. You wanted to overcome these challenges. You felt stuck. Um, I feel like somebody was kind of leading you on, kind of giving you um, something that would satisfy you in the moment. Kind of like breadcrumbing, but in the sense of they would tell you what they what you needed to hear in order to kind of make, make it feel like it was moving towards something stable. 
but this person was not being truthful there was an air of deceptiveness here towards you leo and again this is overcoming the challenge this is persevering the situation um i again i feel like you know we're looking at this deceit um this is you're following your intuition this is somebody that you may have loved but there was a lot of conflict and pettiness going on led to a lot of anxiety and stress for you what is this two of pentacles okay so we're getting the knight of swords taking action taking quick action coming in with some knowledge truth being spoken here seeing things for in the real light of day yeah where you'd be the hang man where things were not moving they're sure moving now yeah i feel like you're going to move away from turbulence you've got the clarity needed towards what's going to make you happy yeah, you're making a decision here where you've been in balance, where you've been back and forth in a situation. You're now moving forward. What is this five of pentacles for my Leos? What is this five of pentacles? Ooh, okay. Okay, so where have you been at a loss? I feel like you're putting in effort. You're putting in work, maybe working on yourself, maybe focusing on work at this time. You got focus and tension here on something. A queen of wands. So this is you manifesting and taking action. Yep, you're seeing what you want. You're understanding it. You're speaking it. You're getting clarity on it. You're using your wisdom to discern the situation. You're taking charge. You're taking charge. What is this Ten of Cups? Outside influence, please. Okay, so somebody wants a new opportunity for happiness with you. Yeah, they're coming towards you. They're persevering. Um, you might be a bit defensive towards this person in the beginning because it's a new cycle timed for a new start, right? What is this tower? Please, your team, what is this tower for Leo in connection with, okay, so there it is. The seven of cups, ten of pentacles, one more, please, one more on the tower. And the two of swords, cross roads. All right, so Leo, I feel like you were hanging in there on a situation that like you were trying to bring it into fruition. You were fighting for this. You were tired, exhausted, and stressed out and overburdened. And you really were fighting hard. But the tower came in. I feel like all the fantasy, all the disillusions, all the uh, hidden things that you weren't seeing clearly is kind of coming in with that. And it's exposing this. It's going to leave you at a moment kind of stunned at a crossroads. But I feel like you are going to make a decision one way or another. Whether or not you can have a new beginning with this person. Um, what is this hanged man? Yeah. You're back and forth still. Unsure of yourself is what I'm getting here. Needing to make a decision to choose a new path, a new journey. Things that were, yeah, are hidden unseen here are going to be exposed and things are going to balance out. You're going to have forward movement and communication is going to come in very quickly. I do see you taking some time out. You've gotten clarity or getting clarity. You know, this is about seeing things in a clear light. And then you're going to take a leap of faith in a new direction. All right. And I'm just going to clarify real quick. What is this seven of cups? In the heart of the matter, please. What is this seven of cups in the heart of the matter? We have one coming through. Strength. Leo, you have many choices. One of them includes a brand new break, a day, a new direction. And you're trying to figure out what is going to be best for you, which direction to go in, um, this, what to end and what to begin. Yeah, what's going to lead to your wish fulfillment, your self-fulfillment and happiness? What is this lovers, please? Leo, I feel like some of you are holding on to a water sign. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Yeah, there it is. Two kings. Yep. And this is where you're stuck. Some of you, it really comes down to stability and love, and you're holding on to something. For some of you, I really do feel it's a water sign uh, that you have deep love for, but there's a lack here. 
and you're holding on to the situation. You have a, it's coming down to a choice, and you're feeling stuck, unable to kind of figure this one out uh, between the Taurus and the water sign. That's what you're holding on to. All right, so that is all the messages that I feel it needs to come through, has come through for you, Leo. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If not, that's okay. Please do check your other planetary placements. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like button to help this message circulate for everyone that needs to hear it. And feel free to subscribe. We would love to have you as part of the Kassirian Soul Family. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.